Hello to you, Eileen here. I've got a couple of Lavinia cards to show you this weekend. Uh, it's this one today, obviously, and then I'll be back tomorrow with another one for you, another Lavinia Stamps project. Right, let's get cracking then. A piece of A4 multifarious cardstock from Lavinia Stamps. I've folded it in half, creased it down the edge, and then I've cut it into 13 by 18 centimetres. And uh, that gives me, um, roughly, I think it's a five by seven card. <clears throat> I've used Sweet Poppy Stencils Low Tack Removable Stencil Tape, and I've uh, put borders all the way, uh, top and bottom and across the sides, and that gives me a nice framed area in the middle of the card to work on. Um, just ensure that it's uh, along these edges here towards the middle of the card it's really firmly stuck down and that will stop any um, problem ink or gesso as we're going to use going underneath the stencil and getting onto the cardstock. The stencil I'm using is also from Lavinia Stamps and it's called Buds and I'm just going to tape that down onto the board. It's a very quick technique so I'm not getting my homemade stencil board out. I'm just give, I'm going to hold it with my hands but I'm just giving it an extra firm base with a bit of tape stru stuck across the top. A white makeup sponge or any colour that you like, that you've got, you know, cheap one. And some gesso. Just a tiny amount. Taking the makeup sponge, spread the gesso out. Just checking you can see this okay. Mm, just about, move it over maybe a bit. So spread the gesso out so that it's very, very thin and there's no lumps or bumps. And the reason for the, uh, the thinness of it, or you want it to be thin, is that it will dry quickly. Now I've, re I've moved my stencil, so I'm just going to pop that back into place. And round about there will do. Yep. Um, I'm applying the gesso through the stencil, but I don't want to go too near the top. So about an inch and a half down, and then on goes the gesso. Just through the stencil, we're pouncing, dip, dab, dab. And then as I go down, I'm covering a wider area with the, um, the gesso. Let's have a look, see what that looks like. Yep, that's quite nice. That's all I need to do. So the stencil goes straight into water uh, so that you can wash it off quite quickly. Now I'm just going to clear up this mess here of the gesso. I've got a damp cloth. Just move that quickly off. And that's good. And now applying the colour. My favourites, five brick, faded jeans, mustard seed. Primary colours, as you know, great fan of these. And for this technique, it works very well. Starting off with mustard seed. And I'm just going to apply this quite lightly, not going to um, push it into the cardstock too much. Very lightly, skim across the surface. I'm just going down the middle for the moment. Very light application. Then on to the red. And again, skimming across the surface again. Not being too heavy handed. Got a bit of a splodge there, but don't worry about that. That'll come out in a moment. These ink pads are a little bit dry, which is good in one way because 
you know, I don't really want to put too much ink on, but not so good in another when you want to blend. Anyway, I'm going to go back, or oh, sorry, I'm going to go to faded jeans next. And faded jeans, and, and all along the bottom, and up this side. But not up this side or along the top. That's what I've found worked anyway on the last card, the last design. So we're getting a fade out look. I'm being a bit heavier handed with this pad because it's very dry. Right, back to the yellow. And more gentle action. Get some green tones in there now. And now I'm going back to the blue. So I can get some more blue in the middle. Okay, now when you've got the colour on, which at this time doesn't look terribly appetising, <laughs> take the damp cloth, and it has to be damp, not wet, uh, because otherwise you will overload your cardstock with water. I'm just going over the top of the gessoed image to take the colour back out. But I'm also allowing the wet cloth to go over the whole image. So it's removing it from the cardstock as well. And I found that that gives me quite a misty look, which is uh, what we're after. Okay, I think that'll do me. And then a heat gun. Need that. Dry it off. And then we should get a better picture of how it actually looks when we take off or when I take off the tape. So remove it carefully. That's the look that I'm going for. Not overloaded with ink, but still pretty colours, and that's what I wanted. This card will go back into shape when it cools down. Now I'm going to move the inks out of the way. If you know what I'm like with stray ink, it gets everywhere. And um, bring on the stamps. And the stamp that I'm using, or both two lots actually, two stamps. I'm going to pop my stamp pad down. Ready? I've got copy paper over the top because I'm stamping off the card. So the stamp that I'm using is this beautiful raven. Absolutely gorgeous fairy from Lavinia. Pop it on a block. There she is. Stunning stamp. And Versifying Claire Nocturne ink. And she's quite a large stamp, so she needs a good few taps. Not too heavy handed though. Gentle tapping. And 
think we're nearly there. Got a bit heavier handed now. <laughs> uh, right, I've got a few stray bits that I need to remove around the edges. Like so. Yeah, that's good. And then pop her down with the branch or the main branch of the tree just off the page. Like so. Right, I'm going to stand up. And I'm pressing now evenly but quite heavily. Firmly, I think heavily is the wrong word. Like so. And then that. Yep, she looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to stamp the next stamp, which is from the Whimsical Hairs. And it's a tiny little stamp. Gorgeous stamp. And I use this uh, stamp a lot. He hasn't got a name. I often refer to him as Trevor. My workshop ladies will tell you that. But that isn't his Lavinia Stamps name. He's just a whimsical hare. I think there's a larger size of this hare. And I think that has got a name. But this small one is just a... Well, he's not just a whimsical hare. He's a handsome little chap. Let the ink in and then down and up. And there he is, gazing up at the adorable fairy. Now she um, is not quite as opaque as I would like because what has happened is that when you stamp on a gesso resist, it resists the ink, of course, and it will resist the ink of the main image as well as the distress inks. So I'm just going to add a small amount of um, pencil from a black polychromous pencil and just where I mean I can see her see this there's a bit of patchiness here I don't know if you'll be able to but I know it's there so I'm just filling it in where the gesso resist has um, left its mark so that she is really opaque as a silhouette should be she's gorgeous Okay, I think that will do. Now, after that, it just is really a bit of, um, what have we got? I'm looking for a star. Ah, All right, there it is. I'm looking for this um, gel, jelly roll pen also from Lavinia stamps called clear star and we're just going to do a bit of fiddly diddly with this and I'm just going to add a small amount I don't know if you can see it I'll hold it up to the camera in a moment it's a smaller a small amount of this um, really lovely ink to the stems of the buds stencil and it just makes them pop. I'm not quite sure what colour this is. It's clear, it's transparent, but it's got a sort of a gold-silver tinge to it. More gold than silver, I would say, but it is really lovely. Just add as much or as little as you like. Just bring them out a bit, these stems and branches and whatever that's really nice and if you make a mistake just shoot your finger and sort of blend it back out don't have to be too careful a bit more there 
think. Yeah. So I don't know how much of that you can see. So I'm going to hold it up to the camera. Maybe you can see a bit more. Oh, yeah, look. It's, well, it's just trying to focus, isn't it? And obviously not doing a very good job. <laughs> now I can see it shining, sort of glittery. Hopefully you can. But anyway, no worries. So the last but not least thing is just a few enamel accents in white. <clears throat> I'll get this flowing a bit. Come on. Uh -oh. Where's my pin? I've enjoyed making this card. It's so pretty, but it's still quite quick to do. Right, so we need not too many. Don't want to overdo this. We'll just have five going up towards her. <laughs> well, that is it. There's the one that I originally did. There's the one that I've just done. And I hope that you enjoy it and you have fun and you have a go too. I'll be back tomorrow with another card. Not quite sure what I'm doing yet. But it will be a Lavinia Stamps card. Can't get that central. That's better. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for looking. Have a super weekend and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.